Hello, hello, Friday is here. Let's get your Texas weather roundup out in a spiel. <laughs> Happy Friday, I'm Texas Storm Chasers Baldy and Chief David Reimer. It is Friday, the 5th of December, 2025. Thanks for popping on in for your Texas weather forecast. We know there's plenty of places you can get it, so thanks for taking time out of your busy day. Let's get right into it on this Friday. Here's high res, refresh model for today, tonight, into Saturday. We're going to have clouds holding pretty firm today across the southeastern two-thirds of Texas, though there'll be breaks here and there, and a lot of this will become upper-level cloud cover. Going into Saturday morning, we're going to have some low-level clouds, maybe some fog in north Texas, Texoma, northeast Texas, and east Texas. Some of that fog could be dense at times. Otherwise, outside of some sprinkles along the Gulf Coast into south Texas, we're done with the rain for the foreseeable future. In fact, it's going to be a pretty extended duration future based on the way things are looking. A very La Nina-like pattern setting up where we just don't get rain for a long time at this point. So uh, if you didn't get rain this week, I'm sorry. You're sure not getting it over the next seven days at least. Here is the Wildfire Danger from the Texas A&M Forest Service. Now, we're going to continue to keep things on the low side. Low fire danger persisting through the weekend for a good chunk of the state. We may see a modest uptick heading into Sunday across the hill country, central Texas, into the Edwards Plateau and south central Texas, but we're doing good in this department for now, so we really are going to get to enjoy a period of downtime without Mother Nature trying to throw something at us that makes, well, me have to work more. Because who likes working more, right? Work smarter, not harder. Here's the long-range outlook from the European Weather Model Ensemble. You're looking at winds at around 18,500 feet above sea level, 500 millibars halfway up the atmosphere, jet stream level. As you can see, we're not going to have any big dips in the jet stream digging on into Texas over the next, well, pretty good while. Honestly, we're just going to have some northwesterly flow while the systems tend to go to our east and then do that big dip in the jet stream. So what that means for us is we're going to have some reinforcing shots of less warm air at times over the next week, but we're not even looking at anything that's super cold either. Uh, the cold air is going to be confined to the northeastern United States and the eastern United States. We well, to be perfectly honest, we're going to be pretty warm for December, even with some of these reinforcing cool fronts over the next week that knock things down to kind of back where we should be. But even then, we're not looking at anything super duper cold. Certainly not like the last couple of days where I was dumb enough to go out in, you know, a little light jacket and then stand outside for two hours at Christmas stuff and then I couldn't feel my hands. Speaking of which, if you're in Fredericksburg tonight and you happen to see me at the parade, Feel free to come up and say hello. That'd be fun. Uh, but guess what? It's not going to rain for the next week. I'm not even going to show you the radar or simulated radar because it's blank. It's more blank than my bald head. So that's a pretty easy weather forecast, right? Today's high temperatures. We're starting to warm back up in the big country, the Permian Basin, Concho Valley, down to the Trans-Pecos Big Bend. Highs up in the mid-60s to near 70. 70 today in Pecos and Fort Stockton. We're looking at 62 in El Paso, 50 in Amarillo, 48 in Texarkana. Cold air holding firm out there. Thanks to some cold air damage coming in from the higher terrain and mounds of Arkansas. Otherwise, highs right around 50, eastern third of the state. I-35, low to mid-50s today, but fret not because tomorrow, there's always tomorrow, the sun comes out tomorrow, highs back into the 60s and 70s, West Texas, North Texas, into East Texas and Point South, 70 tomorrow in Lubbock, 60 in DFW, we're looking at 56, Texarkana, 67 in Houston, 73 in San Antonio and Austin, 79 in McAllen, we're looking at 74 in Del Rio, 76 in Sanderson, 63 out in the borderland of El Paso, 60 up in Amarillo, 55 in Perryton. On Sunday, cooler air filters into the panhandle. It's going to be a pretty chilly day up there. Only 50 in Amarillo, 48 up in Canadian, 49 in Dalhart. But 
Cooler air generally is going to stay along the north of the Red River. High of 52 in Gainesville, 54 in Paris, 58 Texarkana, 59 DFW. Still in the 60s along and south of Interstate 20. And then by the time you're back into South Texas, 73 in San Antonio, 80 in Laredo, 84. Five in McAllen. Boy, oh boy, back to spring weather for y'all. 72 in Houston. On Monday, that cool front continues pushing south, leading to a more seasonable day in the temperature department across the state. Highs in the 50s, northeastern third of the state up into the panhandle. Everyone else... Highs in the 60s, not bad at all. And then going into Tuesday, we're climbing back up that temperature roller coaster. Highs, 50s, northeastern quarter of the state of Texas. Everyone else... 60s and 70s, dry weather persisting over the upcoming week. It is going to be dry. In fact, uh, really, we're not seeing any indications of rain over the next 10 days. Uh, that could obviously change, but don't bet on much happening in the precipitation department anytime soon. Temperature-wise, Climate Prediction Center, uh, they're looking at above-average temperatures for us and the western third to western half of the continental United States through December 14th. The cold weather sticking around the Great Lakes, Midwest, and northeastern United States. Precipitation outlook, not looking good unless you're maybe down the Rio Grande Valley, deep south Texas. We could see a little bit of moisture down there, uh, kind of towards the end of the forecast period. Otherwise, dry weather persisting across the state of Texas. It is Friday, which means it's time to give a shout out to our spidumers here in the Texas Weather Center. Thanks for helping us make Texas weather forecasts possible even during the less active periods of weather. So a big thank you to Anthony R. Pelosi Jr., Christina West, Donald Yellett, J.A., Justin S., Love, Live, Laugh, Mandy Kim, Nancy Rosenberg, Knight Davis, Paranoid Pocho, r slash Tornado Chats, who's also one of our amazing moderators, Rascal ZX2, Samantha D, and Tanya McGee. Thank you, everyone, for helping to support us here at the Texas Weather Center and the Texas Storm Chasers. We're going to have our next Texas Weather Roundup video on Monday. We're going back to the usual five-week schedule because the weather this weekend is going to be calm, meaning you'll see me again with your next regular Texas Weather Roundup on Monday. Have an amazing weekend. Enjoy the weather. If you're heading out and about to any sort of outdoor festivities tonight or this weekend, enjoy them. It'll be chilly in the evening, especially tonight. So bundle up. Y'all have a good weekend. We'll see you on Monday. God bless. <laughs>